So how can robotic 3D printing really become a reality? And even more important, how can it lead to a more sustainable architecture? What I wanted to do in this workshop was get obsessed about design again. Robotics and 3D printing are changing the way we think about design. There is this split between uh, how technology is used in society and how it's used in the built environment. Robotics and 3D printing in general have huge potentials to change the construction industry. The first day when they came, we gave them look at that building skin and now see how you could transform that and make it even better by using 3D printing. So I was really, really impressed with the creativity and originality of the thinking. We also had a fantastic academic body. I would uh, highlight the highest standard and quality of all the professors. I think the thing that struck me the most is the variety of the inputs. I really enjoyed the public debates because I thought it was a very um, amazing opportunity to hear all the ideas. Bacteria or elements that are not traditionally part of architecture could actually be studied and integrated much more. Being able to make something that might come alive. So that the building could become a living organism. I think the students were really high level. They seem to me to be incredibly perceptive and intelligent people. It is exactly the kind of format of interdisciplinary and intercultural exchange that is required to shape the future of the built environment. We moved up really, really fast to start printing parts of it in our small 3D printers that we have here in the foundation. Every morning, every evening, we send out files to Nagamo to get printed. And they were receiving them every day. On the Thursday, we moved the whole workshop to the factory. Thinking about how large-scale 3D printed could have a lot of embedded function to tackle uh, several problems at once, which is not something that you can do with typically fabricated objects. Through automation, we will make building cheaper, faster and more sustainable. Well, if you think about robotics, you don't automatically think about sustainability. We use recycled plastics to print uh, architectures with uh, ocean plastic. Which is kind of revolutionary. Beyond the material that we use, 3D printing is the clean technology of the future. We had three groups. Each of them tried to combine two or three functionalities in, in a building. And I think each of them really picked out and, and drilled down on one particular one really, really well. My team developed like a facade which actually solved different problems. An integrated system that combines structures, opening and uh, windows. We focus on insulation to get thermal comfort. We created a, essentially a facade system. Uh, which has the same properties of beetle's shell, uh, so it could harvest the water from rainfall and from humidity. Advice to the young architects and young designers, just be brave. Ask the right question. Don't grow up. Stay young. Follow your heart, follow your passion. You have the power to make a better world. Keep going. <laughs> I totally believe that 3D printing will change the world.